Um, I'm Frederick and I'm the Vice President for APEC for Jumio. Uh, together with me this morning is uh, Zhang Yi, my colleague. So uh, we're going to go into the demo of uh, online identity verification. Right? So um, the digital world right, has presented so much new opportunities to both large enterprises as well as um, uh, to fintechs. You have a good business idea, you, you build an application, right? And now it's time for you to go out and get customers, customer acquisition. So in a customer acquisition in a digital world, right, um, you are essentially now replacing face-to-face -face engagements. So they don't come to you, you don't see the person, but you need to identify the, the, identify the, the identity right, of the uh, individual that you now take on right, as, as your client. Right? So in, in that process itself today, um, we think about how, what we have come to know in terms of customer onboarding. We've got to make it fast, we've got to make it secure. The regulators require us to do so, right? But at the same time, we look at statistics where 40% of uh, uh, online onboarding processes are abandoned. And reason being that um, customers cite that it's too complex or it just takes too long, right? So it's, it's a lot of challenges, right? And besides that, you've got to think about um, fraud activities online, the, uh, the intentional frauds as well as the syndicates. Right, where we talk about account takeovers, identity tests, right, uh, how you want to minimize those that exist within your organization as you expand your, your business. So digital world presents global opportunities. We're looking at cross-border right, uh, businesses. And so how does uh, Jumio then, of course, address uh, these aspects? Um, we provide an online identity verification platform to, to fintechs, to large enterprises, to digital strategies, relying primarily on a still very much accepted trusted source, which is a government-issued ID document. So uh, we take a picture of the ID and a picture of the selfie. Uh, Jumio does the processing, right, to verify that the identity of that individual that's subscribing to your service is truly who he says he is, right? So for the, today's demo, right, um, uh, we have created a, uh, a fictitious banking application that uh, I'm, a sing I'm a fintech in Singapore. I want to provide financial services, right? So I have built a mobile app, and uh, in this mobile app itself, right, um, I download it from App Store, I, from Play Store, I key in my name and my date of birth. Um, we have skipped some screens in the interest of time, right? Um, but as I start to open my service, um, we recommend for uh, our customers that you will typically um, give some quick uh, updates and explanations in terms of this uh, identity verification step. Let the users know why they're doing the things that you're asking them to do, right? So make sure that they are who... We want to let them know that they, uh, uh, we are doing this as part of um, compliance, and it's also for their own protection, right? We also need to preempt them that they should have the relevant documents in place, the ID documents, whether it's a passport or national IDs, so that their whole experience when they complete this uh, would be smooth and, and positive. Right? So uh, with that done, right, I will then, of course, uh, I'll go straight into what happens in the whole KYC step itself. So I have my uh, Singapore uh, government initial ID with me. Uh, I'm prompted now to look at uh, the type of documents that I choose to select. Where Jumio today, we support more than 200 countries and 3,000 over ID types that we can verify. So I will click on the identity card. And the ease of use, I'm just placing the ID document uh, over the rectangular area, and it will just do an auto capture, right? So it asks me if I think that the content is readable, I believe it is, right? Uh, it then prompts me to take at the back of the ID document, right? So we are looking for collection of uh, the data on the back, like the barcode, uh, the address data. So I've completed that step. Now, the final step is the selfie capture. So um, what we have implemented here is uh, that we need to do a liveness detection, that I'm uh, not a video playback, I'm not a still picture. So via a randomly moving dot across the screen, uh, is looking for alignment of the eyeball to the random moving dot. 
Now, at the back of this is actually a series of selfies that's being captured. It's not, so it's not one single still image. It makes it harder for a fraudster to try to replicate right, the, the selfie capture. So this is the end of the KYC process for the end user. Right? So at this point, it goes to Jumio for the verification. Right? And then, of course, uh, the results of the outcome will be sent directly back to our client, right, who then configure this within their approval workflows. Now, um, what happens at the back of this check inside Jumio? There are three areas that are key to us. One, it's the synthetic fraud, right? The way that we design our technology is that we are looking for um, security features built into those ID documents. The hologram, microprints, machine readable zone, barcodes, font size, data positions. So any ID type could have 12 to 18 security points. So we check that if these are not uh, tampered with, then we can trust the data that we collect out of the synthetic. Right. Two, right, this, the person presenting this ID. So you take a selfie, but it's equally important to check for liveness. Right. With the liveness check, right, then we can establish that there is the person that's presenting this document to us. Right. And of course, the third part of the check is the data itself, right, where you're present, providing the data right, to a screen whether that name, that number, via a third-party data source truly exists. Right? Now, um, I just want to skip to the point where what our clients see as a KYC record of what I just did. Right? It goes through back to our client where they see a KYC record. You can see that there's a, uh, a liveness check, the multiple selfies at the back that I just took that is being captured. Right? Uh, the data on the ID document is being collected. If my name is correct, my date of birth is correct. You know. Uh, as well as during the security checks, this is what we were going after, like the MRZ zones, data position, security features, hologram, microprints are existing. So um, this is the solution that we have been uh, delivering to a lot of our key customers. Right? Uh, we are uh, inside the hall uh, at the booth, so please feel free to come talk to us. Right? Thank you.